before I was due to see my ex, I phoned her and I was in a good mood because my parents had told me that she'd phoned them earlier that evening and that they'd had a good chat and it had all been very good and civil between them, no, no issues. So I phoned her up and she confirmed that yeah, she'd spoken to my parents and it had all been fine. But she told me that while the run of the show that they had been doing uh, had, had been going on, she'd sort of kind of started seeing somebody who was in the cast of the show but she still wanted me to come up and visit. You know, it wasn't anything serious. It was just something that was developing. Uh, but she still wanted me to come up and see her. And I said I would because I arranged it. And when I ran off, I started to feel relieved and vindicated. She sounded much happier. And I could see that the way I thought things were going to play out was what was happening. You know, that it had gone better for her in that second term. And I could sort of see that uh, you know sh she probably wasn't going to be coming back and I felt at this point relieved because I thought well at least I know where things are going so I went up to see her and spent the, spent the weekend with her and we had a very nice time but we were accompanied throughout by a female friend of hers on the course pretty much and when I said goodbye on the Sunday to come back to my home I, uh, I knew that she wasn't going to be coming back and as I drove away I actually felt great relief and I felt like I suddenly realised what the previous couple of months had all been for the previous couple of months had actually helped me get over the heartache it's not a way I'd necessarily recommend because it very nearly cost me a relationship with my parents I mean I'd even gone to the and it was some, that was something which I was prepared to sacrifice for this girl I'd even gone to the state of getting a second job so I could raise money if I needed it for a flat but I was glad driving away I didn't feel half as bad as I thought I would and I was relieved because I didn't really want my relationship with my parents to, to break up and I felt right okay I can move on now you know in a strange sort of way she may would have broken my heart but she's actually helped me get over it and my parents were relieved when I told them as well and so I started to move on um, I think the lesson I learned from it all though was that if you do get your heart broken you, you need to let it, you shouldn't live in denial you need to let it wash over you, you need to go through it because you will always come out the other end no matter how bad you might feel at any one time you will come through it and you will get over it there's always going to be someone else out there that will attract your attention it's just something which has to be endured. I saw her again, though, a few months later at a wedding in a, in a surreal weekend at Windsor Castle. A friend of ours was getting married to someone who sang in the uh, in the chapel at uh, Windsor Castle, and we both went up. And I must confess, I was a little worried about seeing her again because I had images of her being all, "Oh yeah, things are going great, and I've got a new boyfriend who owns half of the country," or someone like that. You know a little bit of jealousy maybe rearing its head but no when I saw her again she was living back at home she was out of work wasn't quite sure what her future would hold I sympathised with her but I couldn't really get too involved I was too busy that weekend having a weekend fling with a lesbian trampolinist but that's another story altogether 